But Jenny says, I'm missing my hat. That's a little bit better. I got my Christmas hat. I got some stockings hung by the chimney. But that's a fireplace. Whatever. Some stockings hung and a fire going. It's time for Advent. Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Becca and in today's video we're going to dive into day number 13 of our advent calendars for Missouri Star and Cotton Cuts. And today is actually the last day of our Cotton Cuts packages, so I'm super sad to see them go. I enjoyed the little gifts and prezzies that I got this year, and I can't wait to sign up for 2022. The Missouri Star Advent Calendar still has a whole lot of stuff in the box, so many, many more gifts to continue to go through, and I'll continue doing those each day between now and December 25th. So make sure that you are continuing to check in with me every day to find out what we got. I wanted another advent calendar to replace cotton cuts because I like opening too. And so I follow a YouTuber by the name of Carolina Moore, and I will put her channel in the first comment down below this video. You can hop over and check out her videos. She's doing this advent calendar from a company called Katrinkles. And I think think, I don't know, I think she may have designed this, I'm not really sure, but the idea is that every one of these envelopes is going to give you a pattern and a template or some instructions to put together little pieces and little blocks that you can turn into a mini quilt or you can put and make them as ornaments, quilty ornaments for your tree. And I thought that would be a lot of fun to do. So that's what I am going to be doing for the next couple of weeks. I'm not giving you any of the instructions here. I'm just going to maybe do some video clips of me working on this and then showing you what my finished piece is like. It doesn't feel fair for me to give you the instructions or the tutorial because this is not my pattern. This is not my kit. These are not my templates. So if you want any of that information, I would tell you to check out Carolina Moore's YouTube channel. And I would also tell you to check out the katrinkles.com website. I'll put both of those in the first comment down below this video. As of the recording of this video, I think there are still some of these advent calendars available. So if you like what you see here, you can pick one up. If you want to see what the other packages are and you don't mind the spoiler alert, Carolina has already revealed most of these on her channel. You can go check out all of her videos as well. Let's just dive in to our advent calendars because I can't wait to get sewing these up. So we're going to start with cotton cuts. This is our farewell to cotton cuts for this season. So let's hope this last package is a good one. Here it is. It says tracing new possibilities. Oh wow, we have a set of basic two and a half inch acrylic templates and there are five shapes in here. Taking a look down here, they're all on a little keychain, which is really kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but there is a little keychain holding them all together. There's a square, an octagon, a triangle. What is that, a trapezoid? I don't even know, and a circle. So yeah, you can use these to measure on your fabric, draw, cut. I do want to show you that they all have, let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. They all have a little dotted line in here to measure your seam allowance. So these are two and a half inches, I'm guessing unfinished, but it includes your quarter inch seam allowance. So these would probably measure out finished at two inches. Let me just double check that. Yep. Unfinished two and a half inches, finished two inches. Yay! Templates! Okay, cotton cuts. It was sad to see you go, but I enjoyed my time with you this year and I can't wait to sign up for the advent package next year. If you guys are interested in getting one of these for yourself in 2022, oh my goodness, 2022. But if you are interested in getting one for 2022, I would highly encourage you to sign up for Cotton Cuts newsletter, join their Facebook group, like their Facebook page, all of that information, which I will also put in the first comment down below this video. That's going to make sure that you know the second that these hit the market because they sell out pretty quickly. For Missouri Star, as you all know, I am comparing my 2021 Missouri Star box to what I got in 2018. I did not get a chance to get the 2021. It sold out before I could get it. So let's take a look and see what we got in 2018 before we open 2021. Ho, ho, ho. 
It's time for day 13. We've got fabric. Let's open it up and see what it is. It's a fat quarter of the Missouri Star fabric, which you can only get in the store. You cannot buy this online, I don't believe. Oh yeah, I remember getting this package. So in 2018, when I signed up to get this box, I only knew Jenny as a quilter. In fact, that's the only way I know her now is the face of Missouri Star. I had hoped to get a box chock full of a quilter's favorite things endorsed by Jenny Doan. And because in my world, in my life, she is like the authority of quilting, I felt like it was going to be good stuff. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for 2018. We got some sewing stuff and some not so much sewing stuff. <laughs> But this one day was the day where I was like, maybe things are going to be a little different because we got a fat quarter and it was a fat quarter of a brand new fabric line that Missouri Star had designed and was selling in their shop. And I was excited and I thought maybe we would be getting more fat quarters throughout the box. And sadly, we didn't. But 2018, we got a fat quarter of... Missouri Star Fabric. So let's see what we have in 2021. Here's a package. I'm just going to tell you, it feels like a book. How many times in this series am I going to say it feels like a book? But I promise you, it feels like a book this time. And I feel like I will say that enough times and it will be a book. It's a book. <laughs> okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down here. This is this is cool. We have a book and some bookmarks, both Missouri Star themed. Take a look. The book is called A Body in Red Work. It is a Missouri Star mystery. And look, it is written by Hillary Doan Sperry. So I think Hillary is Jenny's daughter. Sperry is her married name, obviously. And here's the back side of the book that gives you all the information about it. And take a look at the inside. The font is really easy to read. And the color of the paper is really nice too. This feels like a good book. It feels nice in your hand. Let me just read what the back of the book says, because maybe this is something you would like to pick up. Red work quilting, an old friend's secrets, and decorations strong with alibis and deceit. This Christmas, Jenny Doan expected to be busy. She double booked herself and not even two assistants could keep her straight. Between the quilting retreat and the fabric designers convention in Hamilton, Missouri, things were bustling. Then the unspeakable happened and piece by piece, Jenny began to unravel secrets, proving everyone had something to hide. As the week comes to a close, her Christmas red work retreat won't be the only thing at risk. Jenny must race the clock to find out who is eliminating designers from the quilting industry before the killer strikes again. Will she solve the case or find death under the tree, all tied up in murder? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to like this book. So I actually bought Jenny Doan's autobiography, the book that she wrote, and I read it in a weekend. <laughs> it was really good. So this is next on my list. And to go with this book, we have some lovely Missouri Star themed bookmarks. Take a look. There are three in here. You have Chuck the Duck, the Missouri Star logo, and a sewing machine. And these are very reminiscent to me of the Lori Holt bookmarkers that came out a while ago. I had some of those. I never used them. Um, but I will be using at least one of these for my new uh, Body in Red Work book. Cool. And I'd be interested to know, I'll have to check on their website to see if this is a series that already exists. 
because I admit I really haven't been paying that much attention to Missouri Star's website with the transition everything. It's kind of depressing to go window shopping for fabric when you really can't buy anything because you have nowhere to store it. So I'm just saying. Um, but if there are other books by this, after I read this one, maybe I'll pick up the others. I'm hoping they're already out there and I don't have to wait, but we'll see. All right. Now is the time to dig into our first little package of our new advent calendar. Dun, da, da, da. Let's get out our tub. All right, the last one that we're gonna do is our Katrinkles box. So here we go, let's take a look what we have. Here's my little felt box, which by the way, this is nice and sturdy and could be reused for storage in the future. My envelope is here. Sorry, day number one. And inside we have the first little block is going to use this template and we're gonna sew two pieces of contrasting fabric together. So I think I'm just gonna use some, uh, some scraps to do this. Today's video and pattern is really simple. It's just gonna be two contrasting fabrics. So I'm gonna grab some extra fat eights and scraps that I had. I'm gonna fussy cut my two pieces together using my new template and it's literally one seam. So I'm just gonna put this together really, really quick. I'm not gonna show you any of the instructions or templates for the pattern because this isn't my pattern and it's actually somebody else's. So I'm gonna put Carolina Moore's website and YouTube channel all down in the first comment below this video. And if this is something you wanna do, I encourage you to check out her videos and her website for the instructions to do everything. But I do wanna show you that I am doing this. And so in every day that I'm doing this advent, I'm gonna open the little white envelope. I'm gonna show you what I got inside. And then I'm gonna show you what I created at the end of it. And so, you saw that I got the little template and the little card that told me what my day number one was going to be. This is what my block is. I'm using some fat eights and scraps from Christmas morning fabric because I am got a ton of it and I love it, so why not? Here's my cute little block. I actually did fussy cut it so that the buds would be here in the middle, I wanted the buds over the bloom. So I was really kind of happy about that. This is it. This is my block, all pressed and trimmed and ready to go. I'm excited to see what day number two is gonna be. And I almost wanna just rip all of them open and sew them all together, but I'm not. I'm gonna do this a little bit at a time. And if today was any indication about how easy future blocks are gonna be, this is definitely an advent I'm gonna be able to keep up with. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on Vlogmas Day 13. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. How are you doing with your shopping? We have finished most of ours this past weekend. Really excited about that. But now begins the struggle of getting it all wrapped and put under the tree. So maybe one night this week, we'll spend some time on Vlogmas actually wrapping gifts. I love wrapping gifts. And now I have space to actually do it. So I don't have to sit on the floor and do it. That's nice. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Come on back tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 14. I'll see you all then. Bye.